Well, hi there, I'm John Tang, founder of Midlife Magazine, a digital publication dedicated to inspiring both men and women to live their midlife years to the very max. Now, I'm gonna do a cooking video here with you right now, but I wanna make a disclaimer that I do not cook. I've got a beautiful kitchen, but my idea of cooking is boiling some spaghetti and pouring a jar of sauce over the top of it and warming it. So, when I met Holly Clegg, and this book, The Guy's Guide to Eating Well, I felt a glimmer of hope that I could actually one day learn to cook. And uh, Holly Clegg has sold over 1.5 million copies of various cookbooks. She's been in Cooking Light Magazine, USA Today, Huff Post. She's no joke. And she's teamed up with Dr. Curtis Chastain, an internal medicine doctor. And the two of them have described not only why the food tastes great, how to cook great tasting food, but how it will benefit us from a health standpoint. So a really cool compilation of over 150 recipes. And I decided to do one that was called an easy pot roast. And you know, I was encouraged by that first word, easy. And it really is easy here today. There's two ways to do it. You can cook it in an oven. You can cook it in a slow cooker. And I chose to do the slow cooker option here. And so I'm gonna walk you through that and show you just how easy it is, even from a standpoint of someone who does not cook, of how you can have a wonderful meal for yourself and for your family. So here we go. You know, not a whole lot of ingredients, which I like, this simplicity, keep it simple. The first thing, you gotta also help you understand that I don't know my pieces of meat, where they are on the cow. And in the book here, you know, Holly says here, just get a four pound beef sirloin tip roast trimmed of excess fat. You know, and I like showed this, almost showed this to the butcher and said, give me that. And out came this. So, you know, just hand that information over here. I'm not trying to be elaborate. I'm not trying to think outside of the box. I'm trying to follow a very simple recipe and get the job done. So here we go. We have about four pounds of uh, a sirloin tip roast ready to rock and roll. We needed two red potatoes. They're gonna peel these. We've got one bag of 16 ounces of baby carrots. Pretty simple. We have a one sweet potato, peeled and cut in chunks. We're gonna do that in a second. Got an onion, which we are going to slice this bad boy up. Six cloves of garlic, onion soup mix. We're gonna throw in some beef broth, and then sea salt and pepper to taste. Pretty simple, straightforward. Throw it in the crock pot. Eight hours later, have a wonderful, wholesome meal. All right, here we go. I'm gonna peel some potatoes. Large onion sliced. Got a nice onion here. Slice this up. 16 ounces of baby carrots, straight forward, just right there. Pop these open, ready to go. Six cloves of garlic. Slice these up a little bit. These are gonna get inserted into cuts of the meat. You could have used garlic powder. Harley mentioned that you could use that as well. Uh, I ended up just going with regular garlic. We now have our piece of meat. Cut this open and slice it. Holly says just to kind of slice it up a little bit and then insert the pieces of garlic inside. So just some arbitrary cuts here. Insert the garlic inside the meat. Like so, looks good. And then uh, salt and pepper to taste. So usually I try to go a little more heavier on the salt and less on the pepper. My kids don't like too much of a hot thing, although I do. So throw some salt on there. Over, such and such, Pretty good. A little bit of pepper. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That came out a little too fast. I'll try to spread that out a bit. That might be a little too much, but I like it. All right, perfect. Now, we're gonna throw this into the crock pot as such. Put that in. Next, I'm gonna put my vegetables in. Got my little plate here. Just bring it on over. 
Go nice and slow. Oh, it's already smelling great. All right, one package of onion soup mix right over the top. Pretty straightforward. Nothing surprising there. And one cup of beef broth. Put that in there, that's some organic beef broth. One on the money. Spread it over the top. Man, that's already coming together. Listen, all we gotta do now is plug and chug. Take it right there, put the top on it. I'm gonna set this thing for, uh, Holly mentioned six to eight hours if you're gonna do it in a slow cooker. So for me, we're gonna do it as slow as we go and ramp it up to a full eight hours. And let's see how this turns out. All right, folks, eight hours later, let's see what we came up with. There's a little cloth here to take it off of the steaming hot dish. That smells so good. Put this down, let's take a little bit out of here. We got a, got a little bit of a sweet potato and a nice onion, some carrots. Man, this smells so good, it's still piping hot. Get off a little bit of this pot roast. Oh my goodness. Got to get a little more vegetables here. This is fantastic. Now, this probably took me maybe 15 minutes to put together. I told you I just showed basically a picture of what type of meat that I needed and the, and the butcher pulled it out for me. And here's what we've got. This is amazing. I can't believe I just did this. Thank you. Listen, if you're as good of a cook as I am, and that's not much, and you want to eat simple, healthy, delicious food, look no further than Holly Clegg's and Dr. Curtis Chastain's Guy's Guide to Eating Well. This is a fantastic book. Try this dish out. You'll love it.